Good evening, everybody. It is September 21st, I do believe. Uh, we finished the wheat up here. We finished picking up the canola swaths, and now we are cutting the standing canola. Um, we're pretty dang happy with our yields. It just kind of bounces all over the place between 50 to 60. Um, little update. Uh, canola swabs, Ashton and Donovan picked up the canola swabs. I only actually have one. Pick. You guys probably can't see me too good here. There's that a little better. Um, we only, I know I'm totally too much. We only have one pickup header for only one X9. So Ashton was using that one and we had a pickup header for the S series. And so Donovan was on that combine at the time. So they picked up those swabs. Um, swapped about like three fields you know to kind of get going in the canola round here now according to the trucks that went into the bin the canola swabs did about 60 bushels per acre so we're super stoked about that anytime you can get 50 bushels an acre that's a heck of a canola crop so we're very excited about that this stuff's probably going to do about the same this field might actually do a little bit better to be honest with you we're going to we're counting all the trucks going off and at the end of the day it really doesn't matter what the monitor says it really doesn't even matter how much is in the truck it just matters how full the bin is and even the bin it really doesn't matter how much is in the bin it matters when we haul it all out to the terminal that's what matters but we're ballpark we're going to be around that 60 bushel canola uh, on the average which we're super stoked about it's Totally different from being at the South Farm. South Farm, we were cutting like, what, six bushel mustard? <laughs> oh man, it's sad, but it's true. But that is not normal for us down there, just so you guys know that. Uh, we are in a bad drought. You know, we should be cutting 40 bushel wheat down there on average, and we should be cutting 20 bushel mustard. So we're hoping that those days will return to us and we are confident that they will. But as of right now, we're up at the North Farm cutting and we're super happy with our yields. Super blessed, we feel very blessed. If you were gonna ask me what our uh, crop was going to do uh, at the start of harvest, I would not have guessed these yields. So they're better than expected up here. And in fact, they're actually better than last year. So this is 345, um, the swaths were 356, and after, oh my word, Mike, stop tilting it back so much, man, my bad, I apologize, guys. After this field, we, which we will not finish tonight, we're going to 340, standing canola. This combine, I'm having a lot harder time keeping it in the back. Well, in my words, keeping it in the back. If this one has all small wire concaves, I do not have another set of concaves for this combine because it's the south combine. You don't put wide bar concaves in on a south combine because you just don't need the you just don't need to do that. But the north one, which Lee is currently running right now, because Ashton had to go home, uh, Chapel's skin was uh, kind of reacting a little bit. He's where he was probably in a little bit too much dust even though we try to keep them well protected. So I'm actually I'm actually running Ashton's combine right now, which is the reason why there's a car seat in here still. Um, there is still, uh, well, let's be honest, these are for Mike. But, um, so yeah, Ch our Chapel is our son. He's going to be two years old, November 8th. And uh, he is just such a blessing, uh, but he is, quite sensitive. He's got um, um, a lot of skin issues, I guess you could say. Eczema, and uh, that's just the name of few. <laughs> but we love him, and he's awesome. And he just, he just, he just starts to hive and itches himself till he'll bleed. So we're always um, working on his skin, I guess. And a lot of that is due to his mastocytosis. But anyways, hopefully uh, Chapel and Ashton 
will um, join us again here before we finish up harvest. We only got a few days left up here now at the North Farm. We've been chugging right along really good. Oh, this is grown. This is grumbling here. I'm just gonna shut up. Wow, this is intense. Holy cow. Oof. Oh, it's lodged. Get it down. Tip this header down. Oh, I'm going over it. tell you guys that I'm not super happy with how the X9's uh, clean up canola. You guys can't see the sample, so there's no sense of even showing you. It's better than an S-Series, I guess. Just not by a whole lot. It's a John Deere. If you want a clean sample, you know, everyone knows you don't go with a John Deere. So I'm going to be concluding our uh, harvest videos up here very soon. I might do one more for the last day of uh, harvest, but um, we got a lot of fall work to do. I got some exciting things to show you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired now. And I don't mean because it's only 9 p.m., which is peanuts. But um, it's been a long, long harvest grind here. Um, I think I'm just, I keep track of all my hours. That's just something that I do. I like to know what, what I'm working. Uh, I just mark them down when I get to work, and clock out when I don't. And uh, it's been, I think it's been uh, 54 days and 1,042 hours consistent. So we're getting very close to being done harvest. All oh, this stuff's all laid down. Oh. It's gonna hang up right out there in the end. It's gonna hang up. That's gonna be a rotor shear. Oh, that's better stop. stop, 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 stop. Okay, zero. It's zero, guys. It's zero. It's zero bushels in here. Zero. It ain't yielding nothing. <laughs> oh man. But anyways, I think today is uh, Thursday. I don't know. I've kind of lost track. But anyway, we're hoping to be done by the weekend. Don't. Don't even think about it. Hey. Hey. Get in there. Get. Get. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So it does hang up on the end of these headers. It jams through right underneath the reel, right between the cylinder. And as you just saw, those are rotor shears. And I am so sick and tired of digging out combines. You have no idea. I'm so tired of it. I've got Canada thistle. You know what happens when you get Canada thistle? Slivers in your fingers takes forever to get those things out they do, they do slowly work themselves out but anyway I look forward to getting harvest done I love harvest don't get me wrong but a long grind so and you ask yourself well Mike why do you have to work so hard well it's just every farmer works hard during harvest time all right and I am kind of between farms and lots of times I come up I'll finish down there at the south farm six hours away uh, 
10 o'clock, drive all night, work up here, drive all night, get back down, work down there, sleep a few hours. It's madness, but there is a, there is an end game. We do actually do, we do actually do, actually do, actually do, actually do, actually do, do have a plan. Ha! We have a strategy to our madness. So, in time, in time, we're just in a season here of, uh, expanding, so these things come into a low spot here. I gotta pay attention. This stuff that's all lodged over, this is, this is rotor shear. You can't see it, but it's lodged, it's heavy, it's thick. This crop is uh, quite rank. Uh, it's like shoulder height out here. It's ridiculous. laid down areas is tough. You gotta take it all in. Oh, look at this header smile. You could probably do this without your reel, actually. Pick me reel right out of the ground. Out of the ground. Look at this, my reel is as high as it will go and I'm still touching the canola. Leave some more stubble there, Mike. Let's pick this thing up a little. This. Crazy crop. It's an amazing, amazing crop. Just... So blessed. I just... Just so thankful. Okay, well, guys, I'm actually quite tired tonight. We're gonna go to about probably 11. So, two more hours. Just gotta go two more hours. And we're gonna go home and we're gonna grab some sleep. And we're gonna rendezvous back out here at 6 30 start fueling, getting low on fuel, we're just about down, we're a third of a tank of fuel right now, but I do want to thank you guys for following us around, you guys are awesome, I'll catch you guys on the flipper, adios amigos.